Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Are you ready? Yo, what up, what up? It's your boy Rabino. And this DJ Erm in the building. And you listen to the Up and Up podcast. Yeah. Wait, what are we doing? I don't know, just listen. Yes, 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 yes. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What to do, what to do. Ladies and gentlemen, you're tuned into the Up and Up podcast. I'm your host, Rabino. And I'm DJ Erm, man. How you doing, man? I'm good, bro. Good. I'm good, chilling. Feeling good, feeling great? Yeah. Yep. Like- What's today? What's today? I don't know. Never it's a mind. good day. Never mind, yeah. never mind, never mind. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, for those of you, for, yeah. <laughs> for those of you first-time listeners, this is the Up and Up podcast. This is the podcast where we're focused on cultivating culture, right? Yeah. Uh, we do that by providing amazing stories of individuals, groups, movements, right? Movers, shakers, hustlers, yep. grinders, all shiners. That. All that. I'm going to keep going if you don't stop. <laughs> keep going, um, All that, man. But people who are definitely out here, you know, paving, paving ways, carving lanes for those who are coming behind them as well, as well as themselves. Um, obviously I always want to shout out the consistent supporters, the consistent listeners and the viewers. Thank you guys for the, for the encouragement, not just towards us and the platform, but also the guests that we have on this show. Um, the energy is definitely felt right. Mm -hmm. Uh, definitely want to give a one-time shout out to my guy, Gramai Zahale. Oh yeah. 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 Just, uh, just actually came in first place in the primary elections for Seattle King County. So, um, we're going to keep pushing, right? He's on the up and up for show. Oh, for show. For show, for show. Uh, shout out to Bay, man. Uh, (laughs) now, um, for those of you first time listeners, uh, Want to make sure you guys can continue supporting the podcast. You know what to do. You can find us on YouTube, SoundCloud, and iTunes. Just type in Up and Up Podcast. That's where you can find it. Uh, make sure to rate, review, subscribe. Yeah, like it too. Okay. Yeah. You want to tell them again? Yeah, yeah, like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to get mad at you. Uh, but yeah, make sure to so- show some love. Show some love, right? Um, you can also follow us on all social media platforms at underscore the up and up. We got a lot of great things coming for 2019 and beyond. Um, definitely working. Definitely staying tapped in. With uh, yeah. with those who come on the show as well exactly. as the community, right? Yeah. Um, also, uh, if you can see in the background and on the table as well, up and up clothing dot com is live. So go ahead and get yourself some merch. Uh, you can follow the page. <laughs> Sorry, bro. We sold out. What? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. When was you gonna tell me about yeah, that? Yeah. So we sold out, guys. So uh, <laughs> you guys gotta wait till we re up <laughs> to the next yeah. episode. Yep. Okay. Well, shout well shout out to all those who did support um, the early launch of the store, uh, man. I can't thank you enough, man. Yeah, Not enough for words real. for sure, man. Continue continuously supporting the movement. Um, but please do follow us at underscore up and up clothing to stay connected and stay tapped in with the new releases that will be coming um, in the near future, right? Yep. Now, getting that out the way, anything else on the list? Nah. Don't hold back, bro. Nah, you don't bro, got no announcements? Me, we can't tell them everything, bro. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's get to it, man. For those of you first-time listeners... Um, this is how it goes, man. We bring we bring people up here who are going to give us compelling stories, right? Mm-hmm. Um, give us uh, some inspiration, some motivation, right? Yep. All that good stuff. But mo- most importantly, we're trying to provide some context to the success, right, of our guests. Um, and today's guests, I would say, are two women uh, who've combined their talents uh, and their voices to build a platform that gives, uh, I would say, a voice to the voiceless, right? Um, yeah. More particularly, black women mm-hmm. um, and underrepresented women as well. Um, I would say they're both visionaries who are keeping everything they're doing on the up and up, right? Obviously, otherwise they wouldn't be in the building with us right now, right? Yeah. right? Um, also, just to give you some insight on the work they're doing, they are the hosts of one of what I would what I would consider one of the most consistent um, and necessary podcasts uh, here in the city of Seattle, as well as beyond, known as the Black in the City podcast, uh, which is available for all your listening pleasure on all podcast platforms. Yeah, go tap go, in, go tap in, go mm-hmm. learn some, go grow. <laughs> yeah. uh, and just to kind of give you some insight, man, I, I, I actually been following their movement for some time now. Um, you know, us being in the podcast space is always good to just see who else is out there, you know, um, claiming narratives, you know what I'm saying, and, and using their voice. Um, as two young black women, I would say they're definitely using their voice to provide uh, representation that's needed in the media space. Um, that's first and foremost. And they're doing it in a relatable and for the culture type of way, mm-hmm. which is which is what I like, right? It's, that's what we're about here, right? Yeah. Um, let's just get straight to it, man. Our guests are none other than the Black in the City girls themselves. <laughs> <laughs> that's that girls with a Z. Y'all yeah. know what I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> Makita Critchlow okay. and Sierra Stewart. Give me a round of applause. Okay. One time, one time. Thank you. One time, one time. It makes you sound like way doper than yeah. I would ever yeah. describe oh, myself oh, ever. Yeah. 
Hey, he said visionary. I was like, bitch, I'm a visionary. All right, now. Okay. You know, I'll be saying you know. stuff. Sometimes you just got to take it in, right? I, what do I say? Every okay. every great album needs a good intro, right? Needs an so intro. That's let's weird. make a good album. Yeah. 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 You know? There you go. I think I'm on fire okay. right now. You, you know got it. Yeah, yeah, hey, we got to keep a counter you got that. that. We got to see how many times he says that for sure. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but thank you guys for coming to the show, first and foremost. Of course. Thank um, you for having us. Yeah, man. Definitely. We've been trying to get this locked in for a while now. Yes, um, if you are fam- <laughs> <laughs> if you are familiar with the show, uh, we usually start off with the quote of the day, uh, just kind of get the vibe right, get the mood right. Yeah. Um, I don't I don't tell the quotes here. It's, it's actually yeah, my yeah, guy yeah, over yeah. here, you know. All right. So one day though, one day I will. Okay. One day I will. So the quote of the day today is: To effectively communicate, we must realize that we're all different in the way we perceive the world, and you and use this understanding as a guide to our communication with others. Mm. Who said that? Who said that quote? Oh, uh, Tony Robbins. Will you thought, read it again? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's to effectively, effectively communicate, we must realize that we are all different in the way we perceive the world and use this understanding as a guide to our communication with others. Mm. I like mm. that. Shout out yeah. Tony Robbins. Right. It's a good quote, okay. man. You know, it's podcasting, so, you know, we're all about to communicate. Yeah. yeah. So, mm-hmm. okay, yeah, we're going to have a lot of bouncing ideas. In the, yeah. 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 There's, a, there's a lot of intention that goes into these quotes, mm-hmm. for sure, man. I love that. A great quote. Um, now, like I mentioned in the intro, this show, the purpose of the show is really to provide context, right, to success. Um, I think a lot of people are so caught up in everybody's wins, and they don't really know, like, how they got there or what it takes to get there. Um, so for you guys, obviously you guys are two separate individuals, but you guys have came together. Um, I kind of want to get a little bit of insight on terms of, like, where, I guess, you, what brought you to Seattle if you weren't already here. Like, if you guys want to talk about where you're from. Yeah. Where's, where, me where's the soil? <laughs> okay, well, yeah. ah, the soil, that's a good way to put it. <laughs> ah, the soil, the original, the base. I am a first-generation immigrant. My family's from Barbados, so that's where the soil okay. is. That's okay. where home is. Yeah. Uh, I was born in Brooklyn. Like I feel like hella immigrants are from, at least originally from New York, because that's where everybody goes to. Mm. Uh, and then I grew up mostly in Denver, though, and I lived there most of my life. My parents still live there. been in the same house for, like, 20 years. Dope. And... Uh, I moved to Seattle to go to grad school at UW. So I got my master's at the Evans School in okay. 2017. And then yeah. I like live here now and work here. And I have a podcast now, so I'm obviously <laughs> not going anywhere. But that's how I got here. Dope. Yeah. Um, so I'm from Tacoma, Washington. And uh, I went to UW, and that's when I moved here. And I just never left. So it's been like, what? Two shit. It's been like six years. <laughs> so And then I stayed here and you know became a little kind of like a socialite and mm. we started a podcast together interesting yeah. interesting Ooh. okay that's nice so so what was you guys like early interest when you guys were like coming up growing up they're the same as they are right now they've never changed <laughs> you know i'm ready to bust down that's yeah you know that's true when i bring my good knees you're right yeah yep, yep. um sure. uh, i've always been interested in the intersection of politics and policy and the way that it interacts with people of color and other underrepresented uh, populations, whether that mm-hmm. be people of color or mm-hmm. folks who are disabled, whatever it might look like, and the way that policy impacts the way that they live their lives and operate uh, moving through space. Mm-hmm. And so my degree is in uh, public administration where that I focus on social policy and equity. So how do we build fair and equitable programs and policies that impact the lives of folks of color? And mm-hmm. how do I actually make that shake, essentially? Like, how do I make sure mm-hmm. that somebody that looks like me is able to live their fullest and most true life and be respected in whatever space that they're in? And so I've always been that person, always been the loudest person in the room, always the one to go head to head with the teacher hey, in hey. history class, whatever. Like, that, <laughs> that shit was, is that not too, real. So. What you're saying is a lie what you're saying is fake and i'm not fucking with it right like i don't care about that just because your teacher doesn't mean that what you're saying is true so i've always been and that's definitely comes to my parents for sure they definitely were very very intentional about making sure my sister and i know exactly where we come from and what our history is Mm -hmm. and what's real and what's not important and so i have a hundred percent so i have taken that with me always and forever so my you know career interest my regular job is i'm interested in diversity and inclusion in the workplace so how do i create policies and mm. programming for folks of color and other underrepresented that, people, people in general. That's in dope though. Cause I, I like how you use the word intersection. Cause I think, I don't know. I've been, I use that word a lot now. Right. Like mm. I, I see that there's always a way you can find an intersection. Right. Like yeah. I think sometimes my, I myself, I was ignorant at some, at some points where mm-hmm. I may have been approached by someone and I'm like, what the hell can we do together? Right. And then you actually get to know what their, what their interests are and what, 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 what fuels them, what moves them, and you'll find intersections. So I'm glad you touched on that. Um, 
But I want to also talk about, like, how did you guys meet in the first place? Like, mm -hmm. I, I'm assuming you dub, right? Or No, no, because no, I graduated from UW in 2013. And okay. She came, like, what? I got here fall 2015, right after I graduated yeah. undergrad in Colorado. Yeah. yeah, so I was already, like, a full-functioning adult. Human. Like, yeah, I was, like, paying, like, bills, bills. And then, <laughs> okay, bills, mom. Bills. Yeah, Thanks, yeah. mom. Yeah, and so we, one of our mutual friends introduced us, and it was, like, a very, like, Hey girl, mm -hmm. like bye girl type relationship. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, I see you. Happy at the to see party. you. Right. Turn up. Let's get shot, a shot. Let's have a shot. And <laughs> yeah. so then um, after that, uh, it was just that kind of relationship. And then another, another one of our mutual friends, friends yeah. was like um, approached both of us separately about doing a podcast. Now, mm -hmm. I had already had a podcast before, and then that dissolved because um, it just, you know for mm -hmm. great Various mutual reasons. reasons. Yeah. It was just yeah. like, we were just weren't into it. And so she was like, oh, I said, you have podcasts. What is that? And so she's like, would you be interested in doing a podcast with Makita? And I was like, sure, I like her. You know, she's mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, she bays. That's what she <laughs> <is>. so <laughs> I do challenge. Cool. And we got together and had yeah. one link up. Like, it was like one, like, yeah. kind of rehearsal. We don't rehearse anything. It was like, like 30 sure. minutes, like, yeah, it was practice like, on the iPhone, like, recording. So we did just, did were you guys hanging out? Prior to like, no. let's do this. Oh, wow. No. Okay. We became this close during the show. We were yeah. not. Wow. So, like, yeah, our relationship has grown because of us doing our show together. So crazy. Uh, tissue? Tissue? Yeah, tissue? It's been pretty crazy. Yeah, can't like, get rid of her now for sure. Yeah, definitely can't get rid of her. So, it's like a lot. No, that's yeah. dope. Uh, that's dope. Dope. So, how, how would you guys explain your guys' podcast? <laughs> Like for somebody that doesn't know, I'm sure you, you get that question it's all the time. Evolving. Yeah. It's, it's, it's evolving. It's evolving. It's definitely evolving because yeah. we'll change it up a bit. So, like at baseline, our show is like politics, pop culture, local lookout. Because the like a big part and of questions. what we and questions questions so you of ask the day. questions. Mm -hmm. So like a big part of what we do as a podcast and like also my own personal thing yep. is really like letting people know like what is going on in Seattle like really connecting to to transplants and mm -hmm. what are the black things that are, are going on specifically yeah. Yeah. specifically yeah. yeah and so that's that's a big thing for us is like really getting people things to do safe things to do things that are like kick it things that are turn up whatever that is mm -hmm. so that's our podcast like that we'll do different themed episodes we'll have guests on and we'll, we might do like um on our dirty 30 what did we do we had two guys and we were oh, yeah. asking them like 50 million questions that women want to know or yeah. we've had uh, our after dark episode <laughs> episode 69 for anybody's <laughs> mama aunt or cousin don't listen, cousin. Out. <laughs> don't listen <laughs> out to it out loud yes. at work but yes. it will make you laugh it's for not sure safe for work. Um, but yeah we, we try to tap into what our audience is talking about mm. yeah and I definitely would say that it's evolving because I think that we used to be really tied to the framework that we've built for the show and mm -hmm. I think that the more that Sierra and I both grow individually and together, obviously, as friends as, and as podcast hosts, sometimes we get in there and, like, the world is heavy. You know, my section I own, I guess, is politics because that's mm -hmm. where my interest lies mm -hmm. and, you know, that's where my strength is. And so mm -hmm. sometimes, like, the shit sucks and it's, like, it's so much that goes on and it's, like, yeah. to be able to do that and be real and be true means I have to take in an immense amount of information, mm -hmm. read a lot of articles, watch a lot of news, yeah. and sometimes it's like, I don't I don't have the mental head space It's, it's energy. That. It's a lot yes. of energy. And yeah. like, sometimes yeah. it's energy. like, I want to be here, I want to record, but like, I don't have no energy to give to that type of shit this week. And mm. so we might just say, we're just having a freeform episode. Like, yeah. Yeah. what are you feeling like talking about today? And we'll just have the whole episode yeah. about yeah. one topic and however we get there, because sometimes... Like, I just, like, it's not important. Or we're talking about, or, like, last week we like, didn't feel like she didn't have a lot she wanted to talk about in pop culture because none of it was worthwhile. And we just were like, yeah. fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. nothing's it's worth like, it. Like, going with the flow. Honestly, yeah. like, lately, especially when it comes to, like, what's going on in society, talking about pop culture, it's like, some of that stuff is so repetitive. Right. We could be in the middle of the episode and I'll be in our notes like, mm -hmm. boom, we're not talking about that. We're not mm -hmm. talking about yeah, that. Yeah, there like, you go. I think I spent part of our pop culture segment talking about energy work. Yeah, we did. Like, that's like and what therapy. I was on therapy for black people and things like that. So it can mm -hmm. it can vary. Like I, we could literally be in the middle of the episode and be like, oh, yeah, we're changing, about we're that. changing yeah. the map. And I think you know? I think that comes with just creative control, right? Like yep. I think mm -hmm. that's one thing I know from my own experience, having uh, been involved in like traditional radio and yeah. just seeing it from like an intern level and learning. And then being, doing the podcast space, like, understanding what creative control really is, right? Like, mm -hmm. yeah. you can just do what the hell you really want to do, right? right. Like, there ain't, there's really no rules. But there is a responsibility that comes with that. You know what I mean? Like, oh, there is. Right. There it's a is. lot of responsibility. That's why we, like, don't 
in terms of creative control, that's why we don't edit anything. We edit, obviously, like Jordan is an engineer, so obviously for sound shout out, shout quality, like that kind of thing, mm-hmm. right? He's somewhere lurking around here. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's like, somewhere. he handles that piece to make sure that obviously the sound quality is good. Yeah. But whatever we said, I said what I said. I'm not editing no shit out of there. If you want to yeah. go head-to-head in the comments, yeah. we can. If I say something that... You know, someone enlightens me on, I feel I need to apologize or, you know, restate something. But I'm not editing out shit that I said. When yeah. I said it, I meant it, and that's it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Why would what, I do- what are you going to say? It's I don't care. Yeah. It's already on tape. And? Yeah. So, I, yeah, and I think that's I like that. another thing, too, with, like, having that creative control. Like, that's super important. And I'm very grateful that we have Jordan <laughs> yeah. because... Our, all of our energy is like sync. Like yes. if we're having a conversation. Yes, we have an agenda, and you know, every now and then Jordan will be like, "Okay, you guys, like, like we're time, tighten up. you know." <laughs> but like allowing that to be on the same energy playing field and being like, "Yo, this is a conversation that needs to continue." Yeah, like whatever's after this, that can be cut out. Yeah. Like and we're all able to sync and be like, "Okay, so this is where we're going with the episode and yeah. flow yeah. easily because we didn't." Yeah. So. yeah. Yeah. Right. It's it real. always like different restrictions. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But like, you learn though. You learn yeah. as you go. Mm-hmm. You learn yeah. as you go. And I think, again, with creative control comes more intentionality. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, absolutely. You got to be like people think, just like, it's just showing up and talking on a mic, right? And it's not that, right? Because you, <laughs> you got to think about the listeners, yeah, right? Like how are that you kind of energy? The exactly, right energy. How are you engaging them? Yeah. Um, a question I have for you guys, and this is a question I'm sure a lot of um, aspiring podcasters, content creators. Um, I'm sure they have these questions, but I know they need to know this is, yeah. uh, can you talk about the importance of consistency in when it comes to creative creating content, um, specifically your podcast? Like at what point did you realize like, okay, this is really about consistency. Like, oh, <laughs> you know what I mean? When we get text messages of where the hell is the episode. If it's not <laughs> like, up that's on time. You know. Like, I'm I'm a podcast junkie. So I'm okay. like, yo, if it's Tuesday at 7 a.m., my podcast ain't on, we got a problem. Yeah. I'm refreshing the page. Like, mm-hmm. so yeah. realizing that the people are, are waiting because we get we get these text messages like, where's the episode and things like that. And right, like, sorry. marketing is super important. Yeah. Like, you got to be on time with the marketing because we both have full time jobs. Yeah, for like, sure. Sometimes it can be hard to get in there and make sure you put the marketing up and like let people know that the episode's out and yeah. putting the episode up, making it. You got to do all these things. So the consistency is super important, especially when you have, uh, you know, a stable fan base. Like you right. know, we're people of habit. Humans are creatures of habit. So yeah. right, you fall yeah, off. If I expect at two p.m. for the episode to be up, then that's where I'm going. Like, at two o five. At two I'm like, where is it? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. it's it's super important, especially when you find yourself. Having people that listen. And yeah. So, yeah. And not yeah, only that, yeah. I think I would add is that, like, as humans, you know, behavior, like Sierra just said, like, we are creatures of habit. And it's there's something to be said about, like, the space that you're creating in and same time, same place every week. It's mm-hmm. just like, like Pavlov's dogs, right? Like, mm-hmm. I get in the mm-hmm. studio and I could have all kinds of other energy. But, like, we come into, you know, we call it the Black and City living room. But, like, we come into the living room and, like, okay, like, I'm here. I know she's about to be here. We've been a clown for a minute. But, like, my brain comes into a different space of, like, this is what we're here to do. It yeah. shifts, you know, like, I'm here. Just like when you're, like, in college and you sit in the same seat every day and somebody's sitting in your seat, like, Bruh, even though it's not no. a sign, like, dog, you must be new here because, like, this is where I sit. <laughs> like, your Just brain, like, you're ready to sit. Right, like, yeah. you sit here, you got your pencil, you can see the teacher. Like, whatever it is, like, you're now in this zone ready mm-hmm. to go. And I think that that consistency, even when there are sometimes we do, like, I know I can speak for myself, but, like, mm-hmm. I'd rather be asleep. Like, I don't want to record. Oh, like, the, yeah. I, like, it takes effort. People think, like, oh, like, you're just going to go record. Like, yeah. it takes energy right. to do that. And Talk about it. you're passionate about Yes. It, it takes like, effort. No, it would be fine. If, if I just said, didn't. <laughs> didn't want yeah. Right. We'll figure out something to tell Yeah. Know. Right. Yeah. But, like, yeah. Yeah. we can't do that. Stop, we can't, right. But we can't do that. That's what we signed up to do, even though, yeah. you know, whether we get paid for it or not, we're doing it for fun or mm-hmm. whatever the case may be. Like, we said we post every Tuesday. That means we have to record to put an episode up, whether Mm -hmm. anybody's listening to it or not. That's what we committed to 100%. Accountability Accountability is real. This is what we signed up for, and this is what it is, and we have to do that. Yeah, Yeah. and I I feel like uh, people take you seriously when you, you know, because obviously you're taking it hella serious, so Mm -hmm. if you're not consistent, you're like, oh, they're just playing around. We're not going to really... You know, How would I invest my yeah, time? Yeah, exactly. Do you know, but if see, to people see you really doing it consistently, then they're going to be like, oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. they're really doing it. And then yeah. they're not shocked when it like grows, you know? Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Yeah, that's real. They're familiar with it, you know? Yeah. Like, right. They get familiar with you. Now, you, you mentioned your listenership. Um, I'm curious how you guys went about like understanding who that was 
as you were doing it because it's it, like you know at first you're kind of like hey this is lit we're just doing yeah, podcast like, shit. So fun. And, yeah. you, and it's fun and then <laughs> yeah. it gets to a point where like someone will approach you and say hey i heard your shit Bruh. You're like, oh. And that's the oh, voice, so listening? the yeah. voice like, recognition is what yeah. kills me. I'm yeah. still listening surprised. To what? They will like come up and be like, and we've been in the bathroom once before. And this girl was like, "Are you Makita, like from Black in the City?" And I was like, "Am I?" Yeah, oh. like how did you know? She was like, "Oh, your voice." And I was like, "Of wow. course." And of course, it would be a party voice? where we were like, <laughs> "That's well, crazy." Was well, it was lit. And you were like, Sierra, you have to like. This girl you have to be around. nice. Like, like, you have to speak to her, even though she was lit as fuck. I was nice. I spoke to her. She was, I was a just a little committee, so. Yeah. So. But it's but that crazy. that always happens at the yeah. wrong time. I'd be like, yeah. sis, I don't know. Let's take a shot. I don't yeah. know. Right. <laughs> or <laughs> even on Monday, accident. I was like at a friend's birthday dinner, so shout out to Dorianne, but there's a friend, we have a mutual friend, her name is Sage, and I've known Sage for a little while, like, just, like, you know, like, acquaintances, mm -hmm. and then we're sitting there, and someone said something about the podcast. Jordan was there, too, and she was like, Black in the City podcast? And I was like, yeah, because I didn't know that she didn't know that it was me. Yeah. And then she was mm -hmm. like, I've literally been listening to your podcast for a year and a half. I had no idea that was you. And she wow. literally was like, wow. okay, like, now I have to take a picture. And I was like, Sage, like, what? That's dumb. Like, people really listen to our podcast. And it's crazy. Nah, I meant to real. tell you that the other day, I but I was just like, <laughs> like, you've been listening. She was like, that's you? Like, that's your podcast? Yeah. So, like, so I bring that up because <laughs> when you know that people are actually like listening, and not just listening, but they're like engaged with what you guys are saying to mm -hmm. them. Um, do you get a sense of like, not pressure, but like a sense of more like greater responsibility? Like this is bigger than just me, yeah. me and my homegirl in here just talking. Like, yeah, how do you deal with that? Differently. Yeah. Like, cause I think that for me as like these past, like recently, I think I've been thinking about that more because we have things and goals that we want to do to make the podcast bigger. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so just thinking about that, like I'll be thinking like, yo, be walking down the street looking out hella bummy like you don't you don't know <laughs> who's listening to the show you don't know what like yeah. that's why we don't watching. record video that's why we don't record video but like but still people know who you are from yeah, yeah, yeah for sure you never know who's that. watching yeah you yeah. never know you never know who's watching you because people that be coming up to us to tell us that they're listening i'm just like never seen them before i don't even know you yeah. so then you think about that and it makes you realize you do got to carry yourself in a different manner yeah. like yeah you can't be at the bar rah rah trying yeah. to fight a chick and you know right. And people that well, at the same time, it. I mean, if that's who you are, you know, that then be who you are, right? Yeah. That is what it's it is. Not, that dark will make you. Yeah. Dark. That dark will make you a uh, and you don't do that. That's when you take a bathroom break. See, I, I drink, I drink tequila, so. Oh, oh, I like yeah. tequila yeah. too. Hey, yo. You guys are nasty. <laughs> nope. Sierra had a hard time once with tequila, and now she can no longer. I partake. had a couple of hard times with. Tequila. That's self awareness, though. Like that's that. just self awareness. Yeah. So now <laughs> she doesn't do it. That's all it is. I say no. No, no thank like you. To have a cider. <laughs> that's how you do that. <laughs> no. So uh, I can't. How how did you guys come up with the name, and why did you guys name it? What you guys named it? I feel like we wanted to name it something else first, and then it, and was, it was taken. Weird. It was like yeah, something taken. else, and it was taken. It was actually one that was cute. It was like. Uh, I can't think, but it was one that like hella other podcasts said, and we're like, all right, well, we can't do that. Yeah, it mm -hmm. was it was pretty. Used. It was, it was something with like black and something like I don't yeah. like black girl song. I don't know. It could have been anything, but yeah, it was cute. I mean, but with the, with the, when we finally landed on the name, it's like both of us are very unapologetically black, and yes. also it was kind of like the playoff of sex in the city, mm -hmm. and so then it was like black in the city. We're black. We're in the city. This can be applied to any, any city. city that yeah. We're in. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we can make this brand be something. Right? Yeah. So. And it speaks to our audience, no, too. No, it's, it's yeah. definitely... And we're specifically uh, talking to black folks. It's captivating. Yeah. It's, it, it, it's captivating. Like, that's what brought me to, like, check it out when I first was looking on the podcast. It was, like, black in the city. I was like, oh. We black I'm in the black city. in the city, too. Yeah. 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 Let me see what they're talking about. All right. Like, let's see. Look yeah. around, bro. Nah. <laughs> with, um, look at life. Mm -hmm. You also talked about how important marketing is right and this is something i always tell other podcasters or content creators like I, the way i describe like for, for our episodes i think every episode is like its own product right mm -hmm. so like i think you have to like package it distribute it as such you know okay yeah um, that's a good way to think about it yeah, yeah. and so what, what are some things you guys learned about yourselves throughout the process in terms of like knowing okay it's not just this like how did you teach yourself certain aspects of the game you know that you probably didn't know when you first came in well, we learned that Shop. I am wholly unreliable. So <laughs> we learned that very like early like on. It's like it used to be, right? Uh, no, I mean in terms of marketing, <laughs> not, uh, you're not unreliable. 
she's just they're just Oh, there's certain things we both have different strong suits. Mm. Yes, marketing what, is like Sierra's strength. That's yeah. how you do it. Like, Thanks, there's, baby. There's certain things that she doesn't like to do that I enjoy doing. Fair. Okay, like we're talking like calendaring and things like that. Mm. Like Can't do I it. could I could tell Can't you our calendar <laughs> off the top of my head yeah. and her calendar. Personally. Yeah, because I will triple book myself. Yeah, she'll be like, oh yeah, I can totally do that. And I'm and just like, like, no, no we're literally not, not here. We're not doing <laughs> that. So like, I can be that, and then she has her. She's yeah, she's the talker. She's like the business talker mm-hmm, where I'm mm-hmm. just like, okay, I'll get the logistics and stuff down. <laughs> okay. But as far as talking in the moment, because I forget things, yeah, that's she dope. does that. That's dope. Yeah. All right. But marketing, to answer your question directly, yeah, is yeah. a really key piece of what it is that we do. We utilize Instagram a lot. And I we learned yeah. that like what platforms are most useful for us or like where do people engage the most and mm-hmm. for instance like it's not Twitter where people engage with us the mm-hmm. most it's Instagram mm-hmm. or we learn that like we're both so active or present and have strong followings of our own individually on mm-hmm. Instagram mm-hmm. that we had to learn like okay people we need to build Black in the City's brand and what that looks like mm-hmm. and we had to like work hard to like not only post on our own because we'll post on our own stories we'll post on our own pages yeah. and we had to stop doing that like no yeah. one is going to go to the Black in the City page if they're going to just come to, come to our pages yeah. it's like double dipping it, right and it has yeah. to be separate yeah. and so what we'll do you know is we'll post from like a story or like repost Black in the City versus the opposite direction yeah. so that Black in the City's brand begins to have its own energy yeah like it's its own scenario yeah and so then we can use our timeline to post our hot girl photos from the summer right hot, hot right. girls our hot summer. girl post you yeah. know but you know all you right know. so, can, so I'm, I'm glad we have you guys here because um i mean you guys are prominent black voices for women so um can you explain in in, in short like this whole hot girl summer oh sierra take it away oh, yes. take it yes, away yes, okay so we talked about some of the episodes like last week. Okay. <laughs> so it's very simple and it's actually very frustrating that like yes. no offense guys. But a lot of guys are like taking the definition and running with it. It's mm. like, right. oh y'all just using that excuse to be hoes. Right. First of all, if I wanted to be a hoe, I'd just been a hoe. Pause, okay, because I'm going out on a date with your dad tonight. Chill. Okay. <laughs> so really what it is, and <laughs> right. Megan the Stallion was like, really what it is is being your true full self, unapologetically mm. and living your best life, whatever that looks like to you. Yeah. And if that means if you want to dibble and dabble in the pond of pink. Go ahead. Go ahead, sis. Pick yeah. one. Move around safely, get those tests done. Okay. Yeah. Like, yeah. If that's what, whatever living your best life means for you, because living my best life could mean I'm going to therapy. Mm. I am eating clean. There you go. Like, right. Whatever. It might not be no niggas involved. Okay. And that's right. fine. Yeah. Because, you know, that complicates things a lot of the yeah. time. Okay. You're clean eating, especially. Hell So, um, yeah, that's literally what it is. Living okay. your best life. Okay. Now, not to be confused with city girls. Yeah, that's different. That's, that's scamming. That's scammers and the boppers. Oof. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. City so girls are different than hot okay, girls. Okay. That's a totally okay. different. Hot girls and city girls are separate. <laughs> yeah, we're not trying to go to We're just no here orange to is, empower is others. Color, okay. Oh, it is my color, but not that not, not that, that shade kind. of orange. Yeah, um, that's hot. Yeah. Uh, it's about being free and thriving and doing what it is that you need to be your best self, your best, mm. your most true self. And like somebody like me who lives or I strive to always be my most authentic self, it's so refreshing to see a female rapper like Megan who won, like just stylistically is phenomenal she's as dope. a lyricist but like oh, yeah, for, to yeah. see someone show up and be like i'm not only am i the baddest bitch i just don't give a fuck about none of y'all niggas like yeah. what are you gonna do and it's so crazy because right. i tell people that all the time like if i'm wearing something and like you don't like it that's crazy like who gonna check me you gonna check me yeah. like on anything that i do i even tell sierra that like if she's thinking about something like oh i don't know like who gonna check you nobody bitch no that's one's true. gonna check you that's true So like live your best life right. so i love seeing like an artist that i can embrace in that way that like just makes me feel extra empowered to mm-hmm. just like live mm-hmm. this way and do it. Y'all should I'm be the ambassadors mind. for a hot girl summer. I'm trying I we need to bring no Megan here. <laughs> doing that at all. If you know how to get in touch with her, tell her to come through. Yeah. Oh, no, her people got her people. Everything. But yeah. honestly it's like she's represented for the educated rap. And the tall girl. Yeah, she, so she, yeah, she, yes. she she's definitely um got a good head on her shoulders. I yeah. think um yeah I think I just wanted some clarity because you know Twitter can do some crazy a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Yeah. The narratives get twisted. But um, now back to the Black in the City podcast now. Um, I kind of touched on it earlier how, like, having representation in the media space is important. Um, did you guys, did you, like, before you jumped into it, did you guys see it as that? Like, oh, man, we need more black voices in the media. We need to be the ones to just contribute to that. Or did that come over time? Or are you just finding that out now as I tell you? <laughs> you know what? Low key. I mean, honestly, though, I think I don't think we. I didn't come from it from the angle of like, oh, yeah. there needs to be 
more black voices, mm. it was just like, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> we about to talk on this microphone. We about to make a thing. And then it just ripple effect into it, you know, really realizing that it's influential in a lot of senses for the folks that listen. So I wasn't thinking about it in that yeah. way. I was just like, I just want to get on the mic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That well, that's you know? what that's that's, that's what it is, though. Right. Sometimes yeah. you don't even need to say Realize. what it is yeah. when it already is. That's right. crazy. Yeah. I like, don't even. I'm not even a podcast girl myself. I don't. Sierra loves podcasts. I do. I don't even really listen to them in general, which is always really funny. People are like, oh, you have a podcast? Like, what podcast do you listen to? And I'd be like, none. But like, <laughs> except for the Up and Up, obviously. But oh man, I mean, yeah, that's what's up. We have yeah. um, everything down. All of the things. Yeah. But for me, it was our mutual friend that like even put us together. We went on a girls' trip to Puerto Rico. We had lots of really good conversations, yeah, and we were talking about when well, we weren't friends yet. Yeah. Um, like, <laughs> shut that's up. just like a dude that was dating an ugly chick. Like, how dare you do that before me? You're yeah. right. Mm. That's, that's fair. Like, All right. I'll good. give you that. that you could have that energy. Solid yeah. metaphor. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Good. And we had lots of... <laughs> I can't stand you. We yeah. had lots of really good conversations about politics and all kinds of stuff. And she was like... Mikita, like, I want to get you on TV or something. You got to be on the radio, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, man, like, okay. And also, like, no one is going to tune in to listen to me talk. Like, mm. my friends already got to be so annoyed hearing to me rant, hearing me rant about all kinds of stuff. Like, who's going to tune in, right? Like, why would they do that? And so I didn't even think that anybody would want mm. to listen to my opinion in that manner. Not that I don't think that I have important things to say or valid things to say, but just, yeah. like, who is really tuning in in volume yeah. right. to, like, yeah. listen to my opinion about some shit that, like, maybe they don't care about yeah. at all, mm-hmm. but it is an interesting dynamic to, like, no, like, people actually want to hear your yeah. opinion or they want to hear your take on what's happening around us or to us yeah. or for us. And I sometimes it just int- has to be said. Dynamic. Sometimes stuff just has to be said. Yeah. Yes. You know what I mean? I think that's what I'm realizing, too, more and more is, like, like, you don't need to be appointed as the person to say stuff sometimes, right? Yeah. Like, I think sometimes we always feel like, nah, 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 I ain't saying nothing. That's the guy. He's speaking yeah. for everybody. That's, that's the right. problem. I think in black culture, too, sometimes it's like we just deem this one person to speak for all of us, Yeah, right. whoever that so, is. So so what would you say to the person that's like, I want to start a podcast, but I feel like it's too hard and I can't do this. My voice do that, doesn't matter. My voice don't matter. You know, that, all that stuff. Yeah. Do it. There is nothing stopping you. We didn't practice. We didn't. Nothing. Yeah, all you nothing. need is a microphone, a computer, and a few chords. Yeah. And you're good. Like, honestly, because the thing about it is I think folks get mixed up. It's like... You have to be comfortable with who you are as a person first. Yeah. yeah. What is your truth? Yeah. Like I can say for me personally doing this podcast, I have grown so much and mm-hmm. shared so much with people that do not even know me. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to be comfortable in your truth. That's where you find your niche in your market and you're Come able on, to niche. figure out like who your audience is because you could have a podcast about pickles and shit. There might be like three hundred people pickle that lovers like pickles. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they want to get your you. review on that spicy there's, there's pickle de- in the back. There's, there's definitely a pickle community out there somewhere. Okay. Yeah, or like that girl on Instagram that just eats seafood, like all that crab yeah, and ASMR, stuff, and just thing. eats. Like that's she's making millions people. of dollars at this point. She's just eating, and people are watching her. Like you could do anything. There is yeah. no reason why you can't. Yeah. I would have been eating. I would be a big bitch on YouTube. Yeah. Okay. Easy. Like, but but eating? but yeah, but it's important to like I like what you said. Just know yourself, know your why, you know, know why you're getting into it. Don't get caught up in all that goes into just making the show happen in terms of like right. equipment, like yeah. you said, all that stuff. Don't right. worry about all that. kinds yeah. of practicing, 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 practicing. Yeah. Like, like I mean, some people practice. Yeah, too. just have a vision. You know, what I mean? have a yeah. vision that you believe in, you're passionate about, and just ride ride that shit out. Yeah, right. <laughs> Say that. Consistency yeah, is yeah. that's how you'll get better. Is the consistency. Yeah. You just got that's the only that's the thing that I feel like I I can't relate this to just like black people, but just people in general. Like we get so caught up in the preparation for you know a for calculated risk. Sometimes you just got to do it. You got to do it and mm-hmm. then figure out what happens after you have started. Right. That's the only mm-hmm. way. Take the it's lead. never going to be perfect. Mm-hmm. Like, our first episode is trash. It's literally 30 minutes. Trash. I can't even listen it's to so it. Bad. And it's one, like, episodes episodes. it's one of our most listened episodes. It's one of our most listened, like, so top horrible. three. And yeah. I'm always so like, horrible. who is still listening to the But it's, it's also kind of, like, Bye. dope to just see it, too. Oof. To see the progression and, you Oof. know. I don't even. You know. need to compare. I feel like my voice don't even sound the same anymore. It does I feel like I just, I don't, yeah. It wasn't me. That's crazy. On that show. Voices do change. Like, have you ever listened to old Drake and then hear Drake now? Yeah. You know, it's like you think that, like, you're an adult. Yeah, like, you think you're an adult and, like, what's changing? Like, I'm not growing anymore, but your voice literally Mm -hmm. changes over time, which is the Mm -hmm. weirdest thing. Yeah, my voice has definitely gotten deeper. Yeah, well, I sound like a little boy in general, so. so. That's That's great. It's all right. So, so what are some stuff you guys learned from, like, podcasting that you guys apply to, like, your daily life? Wow. Mm, That's a good question. Good question. 
It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Uh, hmm. Honestly, being vulnerable and being okay with being vulnerable. Um, like, we've cried on our show. Well, oh, I cry cried. all the time. I cried today at work. Um, <laughs> like, uh, you know, whatever. There's nothing wrong with that. Is that I cry a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot. But, yeah, they were happy know. tears. They were happy tears. Mm. Tears of joy. Yes. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> we cried. We cried. Like, yes. like sharing, really sharing those those moments. Like, I think that's applying that to daily life. Like, really not being afraid of again being you. Mm-hmm. Like, because I think for me, I the way that I grew up, I was always afraid of like, if I step out of this box, what are other people gonna think? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. you know, through college, people had a certain perception of me, and people, you know, people even still have a certain perception of me now, mm-hmm. but through the show it's helped me to like to really say like no i was feeling this way mm-hmm. or no you know like or even talk about sex, sex mm-hmm. you know yeah. my dad always has something to say about that yeah you know, <laughs> they, they all they always do especially when it's like your family and like my brother listens to the show right and i'm just like i've had to tell him like yo do not don't no, <laughs> don't listen to episode 16 of course it's not for listen. you yeah right. Right. this one is anyway, not yours like, i had to turn it off five minutes and i told you not to listen so, right. like, you can't control that though. You yeah, know? you can't yeah. control it. Like, cause you know, people want to see after you tell them don't do it. But yeah, um, yeah, just being okay with being like, yo, this is me. Mm-hmm. These are the things that that we talk about, that we joke about. Yeah. Even if it's inappropriate, I'm just like, hey, somebody's gonna feel it. So yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't think you. I don't think there's no way you like you won't grow, but from doing a podcast, in oh, my yeah. opinion, like really? I mean, you're you're it's you're first of all, you're, if, if it's your first time doing it. You're you're forcing yourself to do something you've never done, yeah. And you're you're forcing yourself to do it, doing it consistently, and you're forcing yourself to do it in the public eye. So it's like, right? You're gonna change, you know? Yeah. You're and gonna grow. business too. Yeah, yeah. That's one thing yeah. that we've had to apply just in general because it's like we're two women, so we go in always there, trying to play us, trying to you know, trying to negotiate yeah. events like rates, whatever the case may be. And so you know, we've had a couple of incidents where we've had to like you know get a little. Get a little gully with me. Right. It's you see hard. this contract? Yeah. Cut my have, check. Yeah. We always yeah. have like a, like a, our engineers have been men. So we always have like, you know, a little hitter next to us. But it's yeah. also like, <laughs> it would feel good to go into a space as a woman trying to handle business. Yeah. And it'd be cool. Like, oh, the conversations, like the blow offs with, in terms of like, mm-hmm. if you say, yo, this rate is not fair. This is how we going to do it. This is how it's either right. this way or, or we're not. not. Yeah. And it's amazing mm-hmm. how... Like, people will really try to play you. Yeah. Like, really, right. like, like, oh, I really enjoy doing business with you, but I'm also going to undercut you when it comes to the money. Yeah. Money. Right, like, mm-hmm. ah, ha, ha, no. That's no. when it's yeah. like, yo, we got to have contracts. Everybody yeah. needs a contract. Like, yeah. That, that is Even something. if it's your friend, I think that's like the one thing that I've realized, especially, which like sucks, but working even within our, within our community, everybody, you know, you hear, like, you hear that a lot. People are like, yeah. oh, always want a discount or always want to, like, yeah. whatever, rather than, like, paying full price. Or folks, if you're working with other black and brown folks, a lot of the time folks will be like, oh, well, like, you know, you could just do it for X, Y, Z or whatever. Like, first of all, no. Nah. Like, yeah. we're yeah. two human same beings. Yeah. You're not going to pay us away. one rate for two people to do mm-hmm. Like, it just, yeah. like, a lot of the little teeny tiny things, and I think that's where I've realized that I have to apply my, like, regular work energy on how I don't play about my business mm-hmm. to all all capacities yeah. because I could be very casual because we are so not casual about the podcast but our true selves we're very yeah you know we go with the flow we want to work with a lot of different people but sometimes you have to remember like it's still a business we start to protect right. ourselves protect the podcast protect the brand and yeah. we're not here for no games I want to work with you but like yeah I'm about my money you breach a contract you cut me my check whether we do anything or not yeah. that's yeah. a fact yeah. that's yeah. a game yeah. but it's, it's ownership yeah, you know that. that's what that's one yeah. thing like, like hit me with the Venmo yeah. in the next hour or we have a problem Mm. Oh, straight like that. Me with like the that. Venmo from Kill the get go. Right. There you go. Cash at me or ain't happy. Like that one, right? So, like, yeah. 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 Nah. Um. Yeah. But no, that that's dope yeah, because I think real, you though. learn <laughs> as you as you create this 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 uh this this brand and this platform that you guys have built. It, it brings on a sense of ownership, right? And that's mm-hmm. from a creative standpoint. But I don't think it shouldn't ma- it shouldn't be the same in the business sense. And so, right. um, yeah. Like I even heard um Nipsey say this in an interview where. When he was negotiating his like major labor deals to partner with them, he would write all his terms on paper and then yeah. just slide it across the table. And it was like a tactic he used to keep the conversation focused on whatever's on that paper yeah. and not come in and try to do verbal negotiations because then 
you know, you can get you can get persuaded to go left or right. Yeah, you know, they right. might cut you off when you're talking, and it might throw you off a little bit and budge you a little bit. So, right. um, oh, yeah. you learn that though. You learn that the hard way, and then you you figure out how to you know Make move, sure. move better the next next time around. Yeah, that's yeah. dope. So, yeah. are, were were there like any other obstacles or anything that you guys went through? You guys came out better. I don't know. I feel like we've been pretty fortunate. I think, yeah, we've been pretty fortunate. God is like, good. We've okay, had, all we've the, had the time. To go yeah, we re-record episodes. Ugh. I think it's just the biggest obstacle that we face is just really being women and trying to do business and trying to go to that next level and Find walk into a room where people mm-hmm. automatically have you fucked up. Mm. Just <laughs> ah, off the yeah. strength. Just, you yeah. walking in as a woman, they're like, oh, yeah, they don't know. I'm about to do this, this, yeah, that. Yeah. And it's just like, nah. We yeah. Did, uh-uh. We don't mm-hmm. do that. We do contracts. Like, me personally, I've had businesses before, so that contract stuff, Yes. Not a game. We've had yeah. we've surprised people by like how we've ripped oh, a contract yeah. to str- shreds. Like oh, <laughs> somebody really was so like crazy about that. like trying to like explain something to me. I was like, don't worry, Pam, I got it. This gotta go. <laughs> right. This gotta go. This <laughs> gotta go. Like Red I'm not heavy. right. I'm not new. Neither of us are yeah, new. Yeah. Like people really underestimate what we bring to the table or in general not even just us but what women and what black women bring to the table. Yeah. Yeah. And folks don't really realize what kind of people they're dealing with in mm-hmm. a positive way, right? And yeah. then I think it's also difficult for us is building our own niche, 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 niche. niche. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, looking to find partnerships in the community, right? Or, yeah. you know, looking to monetize the podcast and being intentional about the kind of businesses that we reach out to yeah. and yeah. how do we build that and figuring out where we fit, where others fit with us. Because mm-hmm. a lot of it I think about is that, like, obviously whoever you're advertising with or who your sponsors are have to rock with your content. And what I'm unwilling to do, and I can speak for Sierra, I know she's unwilling to do, is bend or shift or change yeah. what we're talking yeah, about to compromise. get sponsors. I will never yeah. compromise, yeah, right? Like, yeah. we don't, right, like we don't edit content. Yeah. Like if I'm yeah. talking about a yeah. chicken edible the other day, like I did that because I'm 21 <laughs> and it's legal where we are. Do you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I, there's, <laughs> right, like, or like if we got drunk on an episode, yeah. which we have done, like that's yeah. just how we feel and that's yeah, how we're living. Yeah. But what I'm not going to do is like I want to work with folks who will take us as authentic as, as we are. will. As you yeah. are. As we are. As a 26-year-old, yeah. like this is who I am trying to figure out my life yeah. and this is what it looks like. Every week when we come in here, we got some things on our heart, things yeah. on our brain you know sad happy whatever yeah i heard uh rick ross talk about that because they were talking about how how he does partnerships and he was like i just got to go with my lifestyle yeah you know right i don't i don't i don't want it to like jump out of my lifestyle he's like i I do alcohol deals because i drink like like, or whatever like whatever it is you know so yeah Yeah. he eat chicken wings because he like lemon pepper wings yeah Yeah, exactly they brought that up too yeah yeah Yeah. but that that's that's so important like you you build something that has integrity and then those people that who you probably don't even know are listening to your show, probably see you guys in a certain light, right? They probably hold you guys to a certain standard. So you got to factor all that in, right? When, you, yeah. when you're when you trying to align and partner your brand with someone else, like you got to check them for real. Like, right. it's, it's not a game. It's not a game, bro. It's not a game. <laughs> right, like we can talk about busting down on the weekend and also fry you on this contract tomorrow. Like, <laughs> yeah. easily. We all have duality. Right, we all have duality, <laughs> yeah, okay? Yes. At the same time too, yes. Like, you know, it's like, what do you want to know? I love it, yeah, I love it, easy. I love it. Um, now, what we usually like to do is also give you guys a chance to just talk about things that you got coming on the horizon. Obviously, episodes are coming every week. Um, right. But yeah. um, if there's anything else you want to let the people know about, please feel free to, you know, spread the gospel. You want to give them a spiel? A spiel, like don't we have something next weekend, and we aren't we on TV next oh, week? Yeah. And, okay, um, so on Friday we're going to be on King Five. Okay, um, for their yeah. podcast week, so we're going to be doing that and be getting interviewed by someone from that team. King Five. Four thirty. That's big. Yeah. 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 That's pretty That's big. Congrats. Exciting. Thank you. It's pretty, Thank you. It's it's pretty exciting and stressful. <laughs> yeah. um, Who lot TV? Do, we don't do cameras like that. Okay. So only on, only on the phone. Only on the up and up. Only right. on the up and up. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, um, that's a god light. So, and we have <laughs> yeah. that. We have um, a day party that we're throwing at Paseo. Yeah, and Soto. Paseo. Yeah, and Soto. Okay. And so that's going to be at 4 o'clock. And so right now, if you use code BIC, on, yeah. um, if you check our um, Instagram first, the tickets are in the bio. You can get $5 off by using code BIC. And it's going to be a great time. Food, drinks, dancing. It's going to be Afro Caribbean. Afrobeat, Latin, right. Soka. Hello. It's gonna be. It's gonna be something. Be, and that's a restaurant, right? Yeah. Restaurant. I love that place. Yeah. 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 It's, it's so gonna, fun. It's gonna be a good time, and then you know, um, at the end of every party, I always make the DJ play Megan Thee Stallion. So yes. That's it. I was gonna yeah. be a big old freak at minimum. 
Yeah. So, um, That's yeah, just real. come come bust it down with us. Have good times with guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I wonder how long that term is going to last. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> bust down. Yeah. Because okay, no. it means, like, 87 <laughs> things. You could have yeah. a watch that's bust down. Wait, like, uh, wait until it sneaks into, like, corporate America. Then it's, like, into now it's dead. Yeah, now it's dead. Like, now it's dead. Then it's dead. Throw it away. We're going to bust down this meeting. Becky's going to ruin it, and it's going to be over. Okay. Uh, what about uh, social media handles? How can people find you? Oh wait, guys? we've got two other things. Don't we have? Oh uh, yeah. Plotting. So you, if you pay attention to our social media, you'll see. But plotting on a live show that we will have coming, yeah. and then plotting on a party to celebrate our two-year anniversary and our hundredth episode. Right. When is Ooh. the two-year anniversary? It's like two weeks, two weeks from now. Oh wow! Yeah, eight twenty-two, mm-hmm. and that'll be our, so we gotta celebrate some things. So live okay. show, hundredth episode. Yeah. Wow. So we've got We're some things what? coming in hot. Twelve it's be a turn up. episodes away from one hundred. So can we get Which a round of applause crazy. for that real quick? Man, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's big. Yeah. Man, that's big. That's a lot of talking. That's a yeah. lot. That's of a episodes. lot of words. That's a lot of content. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of content. It's a lot, right? Yeah. Nah, that's dope, man. Definitely, it's so man. Fun. Yeah. We're inspired for sure. Yeah. All right. But, yeah, like we were saying too earlier, our next episode is about to be a uh, pretty a spicy. wild one. So yeah. check that out. We're gonna have Miss um, <laughs> yeah. Brickhouse. She's a black burlesque dancer, also like sex positive teacher. Yeah. So we're really excited. What's her name? Miss Brickhouse. Miss Brickhouse. So with a Q for with the brick. With a Q. Mm. And she's pretty dope. So yes. Check that <laughs> yeah. Out. Um. But yeah, that's. I think that's what we right. got going on right now. Damn. Okay. That's dope. Yeah. Well, what are the handles? Where do they find okay, you? Okay, so they can find me at Sierra, S-I-E-R-A, to Leon yep. on Instagram for the black events because I post yes, all, all of, of them. That. Yes. Mm-hmm. So just, just do that. I don't even do that. Just get my followers up, but just so people will stop messaging me, asking me what's going on this weekend. <laughs> yeah. um, follow at Black and yeah. City Pod for our podcast. And what's your Instagram? Oh, thanks, honey. Oh, my goodness. You're so nice. Right. Um, uh, you can find me <laughs> on Instagram at Bajan underscore baddie. So B A J A N underscore B A D D I E. I love it. You know I love what I'm it. saying? Gosh, no way. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. I love you it. Know? You guys are so in sync, man. Like, mm-hmm. I love it. It's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> perfect. We've been doing it for two years. So, I mean, y'all we better like, be in sync. We all read each other's now. minds, finish each other's sentences. We do. Yeah, that's dope. <laughs> that's dope. <laughs> She's so irritating, too. Be killing me because we have our headphones on and Sarah is a clown of all clowns so she's always talking she's always saying some mod shit but sometimes in the headphones I can't hear everything she's saying until I listen to the episode and I'd be like what is like what is wrong with you like can you just be talking I'd be missing half the jokes because I can't hear her because she's in the well, mic you know sometimes like, Trump is boring, so I get distracted. like just be yeah. doing the most distracting me I can't but yeah. it's it the nice. most fun that's real yeah. well um now we always save this question for last um kind of something to sum up all we discuss as well as it, it definitely casts what's ahead so both y'all individually can answer this question for yourselves okay. um, but if you can what is one word to describe what keeps you guys on the up and up Ooh, mm. that's, that's a good question. and you can uh, explain like you can briefly explain <laughs> it to me yeah, yeah. Mm. I don't know if it's like the the right tense of the word really but like fulfillment for me mm. is what keeps me on the path like my main driver in life no matter whether it's personally professionally is always to feel fulfilled at every step of the way in my life and it will always change because what I wanted last year is always not the same as now and five years or six years from now when I'm married and I have babies like Mm -hmm. what fulfillment looks like will be different to me and so I need all the babies but you know like fulfillment (laughs) that that will always shift wherever you are at and what happiness looks like and Mm -hmm. so my goal is always to be fulfilled and right now my you know goals are career oriented and forward thinking but it's always about making sure that whatever it is that I'm doing is helping me accomplish goals and you know sharing information and being my true self those are all mm-hmm. things that are really aligned so That's real. doing this podcast fulfills me in a way that other things don't I love it hmm. what a time uh, <laughs> so I would say for me the word that I would use is um, manifestation mm. yes ma'am I like that. because it's all of the visions that you know I would ignore it's all those things being realized yeah and it's coming into a space of like okay so you want to do this thing you want to you want to be a person you want to be a personality you want to hit these things but there's these opportunities in front of you that Mm. you got to take advantage of so right now it's it's a time of it's the time of manifestation it's time Mm. to really not only to realize visions and dreams that i have for myself 
for the podcast, whatever the case may be. But really hitting that pavement, really seizing those opportunities, really like tapping in to what it is that we're trying to do and taking calculated risks. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, manifestations. Away. I love it. I man. like that. Ooh. I love it. It's a good answer. Yeah, yes. y'all got some words, yeah, man. Yeah, you guys have some <laughs> Actually, that's the first time we got both those words. Both so, those. Really? Y'all, y'all, yeah. Yeah. Love it. Original. Mm-hmm. Hey, original. We on the OGs. <laughs> that's dope. That's dope. Yeah. Nah, for sure. I think manifestation is definitely important just because, like, you know, you have something in your head, and when you see it happen in real life, and you can touch it and feel it, it opens a whole bunch of different doors of curiosity. So, that's, right. I mean, mm-hmm. all crazy. think about it though. All of us, each individual person in this room, has gifts inside of them, mm-hmm. and it is literally up to you for you to pull those out. Like, right. Nobody is going to do what you do like you do. Right. Nobody Period. has the gift that you have, and people need your gift. Facts. So it is up to you. You can choose to use it or lose it. You can choose to not manifest your purpose Mm -hmm. and that is on you but it's also your responsibility to use that gift to help others Mm -hmm. always preach take them to church yeah that's a collection plate, you know. I, feel like I, 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 I shouldn't even say anything after that. We gotta, gotta have the organ. We gotta have the organ playing right now. <laughs> <Right. laughs> but you. um, yeah, man, Makita, Sierra, thank you guys for coming to the show. Um, we of definitely course. appreciate it's all been the so work. Fun. Yeah, we yeah. appreciate, we like appreciate you guys for your, using your voices, building a platform, paving ways for others who want to get into that space. Um, yeah. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be people hitting you up looking for uh, mentors. So. Look out for that. <laughs> we're gonna have to say that we already got one. You know what I'm saying? Okay, we yeah, we got one. We got one mentee here, so yeah, you know, they're gonna keep you coming. Come serve, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so y'all heard that they're open. They're open. To, yes, uh, we to, are to, always. To we're open to all the blessings. Just hello. The atmosphere, <laughs> we believe in. I believe in mentoring. Our not mentoring, networking out, not just up. Like it's your job yeah. to obviously you want to find folks who can help put you on, but like for sure. you got to remember to network. Just yeah. like Issa Rae that's said, where you're Issa at, exactly. right, on your oh, level, like, that's how doing Rae exactly what I've, I've actually referenced that. Right. Exactly what we're doing, times, like, yeah. networking yeah. out, not just up. Like, that's yeah, critical. all Issa Rae's people are, like, Went everywhere. They on commercials. Hello. I'm like, Hello. they do dinner. Like, they my baby's father. Hello. <laughs> Baby so. father. Potential yeah, so baby's fathers? To- that's what we need. Uh, sure. Yeah, we're just speaking okay. into existence. Me and Jim Manifesting. Manifesting. Manifestation. We manifested that Joe Life right? That's me and uh, Jadina. So. Get out. Get out. Get out. All right. So you guys well, know. Uh, get out. Get out. Um, again, thank you guys <laughs> for pulling up. Um, we're going to, we, you know, you always got support here uh, for all you guys are doing. We appreciate you. Um, yeah, with that being said, I think it's safe to say the Black in the City girls. With the Z. <laughs> yeah. With the Z. Are officially members of the Up and Up. Can we get around with hey. the Hey. Yeah. Yeah.